The idea is to create a new way to see art. How do we put the guest into the art artist's life and his paintings themselves? And how do we tell the story so everyone can understand it? I believe Van Gogh was very uh, misunderstood. You can see his paintings and how it evolved, um, especially when he moved to Paris. About four years before his death, you see him going into this impressionism and his vibrant colors come to life from there. You go into his earlier works, such as The Potato Eaters in 1885, and you can see how dark the colors were. From there on, you go into Starry Night, Sunflowers, and the later he got in his life, the more you can see the way his art goes, or the brighter it goes. His art reflected what he saw. He had a depressive era. Um, he was in an asylum for a little bit. It's all about mental health and you know, how it went from there and how he portrayed his life. He used to paint what he saw. He painted his, the bedroom in Arles, the starry night over the Rhone. Um, so he saw what was around him and that's what was his inspiration. First thing that the guests see is a 3D model. It's about an eight foot high version of Van Gogh's bust that also has two projectors on it as well and kind of displays his work. First two exhibits are all about Van Gogh, his life and his art really kind of explains more of his history, his timeline. From there, you go into the immersive room, which is our 3D light show. And this is about a 40 minute experience where guests can sit there, enjoy a light show that brings all of his life's work on the floor and through the walls. Van Gogh has over 2,100 pieces of work. So how do we show that and make it all inclusive? You'll see the projectors go all over the walls and the floor to make a design that gives everybody the lights of being immersed into the painting itself. The next room is going to be what we call our sketch and post, and guests can choose one out of eight drawings from Van Gogh to color in themselves. And we have a projector that puts it up onto the screen to kind of give you an idea how Van Gogh would have seen it through his eyes. So the lighting and the coloring was what Van Gogh was about. It's not a painting hanging on the wall. We make a 3D bedroom that you can walk into yourself and you can touch the bed, you can touch the chairs and, and the dresser that's there. We make the lights show. So what's great about this is it's a way to put you in technology, but put you into the artist's life. And we're going from the 19th century to now. Seeing the quotes on the wall is really important because it gives you a more of an insight of who Van Gogh was and how he thought of his paintings and why he painted. We want you to experience Van Gogh's life, not just see it hanging. Our last experience is the virtual reality experience. And what this is, it shows a day in the life of the artist. It's about a 10 minute walkthrough of where he lived in Arles, France, and you know goes through his bedroom into the uh, fields and down into the town of Arles. And it shows a lot of his famous, where he did a lot of his famous paintings, such as Starry Night, Starry Night Over the Rhone, uh, Wheatfield with Crows, um, just to name a few. I want you to understand how important it is for all of us to make sure that you are going through something that you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.